Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Lakeith Fowler right here in front of one of the luxury homes that I built right here in beautiful South Dallas. I want y'all to check it out, so come on in and let me show you what we got going on. As we come on in, Don't stop shooting. Hold on. Show y'all everything. You can probably get the passcode. Deal. So I'm gonna go to disarm. It's time to go. Welcome to Mikasa. So, right here, as you walk in, you see we got laminate wood flooring. Uh, this baby right here, this is my protector. This is my protector. This is the protector in the house. Very good. Got to have it. So, come on in here. We got this the living room. Uh, Kitchen. We got granite countertops, shaker cabinets, uh, pretty much everything you want to see. The house is immaculate. Um, pantry. We got washroom. Hold on, let me turn on the light. Oh, that's not the right light. Okay. We got the washroom right here. Washer, dryer. Dryer, washer, read the see, see the outside boom. Okay, let's go out here. We got the garage. It's a three bedroom, two bath, one car garage. It's a garage, water heater. You know. It is what it is. Come on in. Let me show you the rest of the house. I actually bought this lot in two, 2010, 2011. Um, like I said, the house burnt on it. Um, and it looked like the house right here next door. We'll look at that so y'all can see the difference in what's old and what's new, what used to be and what's happening now. Like Roger Rerun. Come on. Uh, right here we got the master. Closet. 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 Bathroom. Here, let me turn on the lights for you so you can see what's going on. This is the master bedroom. This is the bath. Go ahead, y'all can go. All this is granite. Solid. As a rock. Um, in here. Set up, pull it all the way. Granny. Boom. This is the second bed, bedroom right here. As you can see outside. Landscaping looks nice. Um, come on, let's go to the third bedroom. Third bedroom right here. It's a nice house for for a beautiful family, man. I try to create quality products that, if I were to, if I was gonna live in it, I'd make it the same way. Come on, let me show y'all what's going on. Uh, let's go to the backyard. Backyard. Um, there was a house right here. I knocked it down. Let me put my glasses on. Um, there used to be a house right here. I knocked it down. Like I say, this house burnt. Um, insurance obviously paid for that, but I kept a lot 
decided to build a house built a house this is the house next door these are what the houses over here typically look like 2020 model. Let me show y'all something. For all investors that's out there that's scared to build in, in neighborhoods that may not be as quote unquote as affluent as most, it's all the same wherever you do it, it's just how you do it. So let me show you something I did that y'all can use too. So this right here, when I poured, when I poured my flat work, I had the uh, the concrete guy pour me a concrete slab for the air conditioning unit. Now, I haven't put the unit out here yet because nobody's here to live in the house. But when I do, you see those four screws? These anchor screws right here. What's going to happen is the unit is going to sit on this pad and then a cage is going to go over it. And the cage is going to be drilled into the flat work so you can't steal the unit. Just a mind, just, just a, a word of caution as you move forward in certain neighborhoods. It's never that you can't do it. It's just how you go about doing it. This is one of the things that I've learned on top of that alarm that I know that you're gonna need in a situation like this. Come on, let's walk right to the front. Watch your step. Everything brand new, even the grass. What about that? So let me show you what the houses over here used to look like. Frame house. Paint all chipping. And one thing I want to talk about is forced appreciation. So you see the difference in the two, new and old. Even if I was to sell you this house right here, 2630, for let's say 40,000, it's probably gonna need another 40, 50,000 worth of work just to look halfway decent. We're not even gonna go on the inside, but at the end of the day, that this house at its best top dollar will probably only be worth about 100, 110, 120,000. That house right there, I actually built that house for 100 grand. The ARV on that house, I actually just had the appraisal done on it uh, last week, a couple weeks ago. The appraisal came back at 172.5. We'll talk about what I'm going to do and my exit strategy and how I do things at a later time, but Man, this is where it's at. I'm flipping new spec construction. Taking the old, making it new. 